There was 10 years of work when most of the population started hearing about the Human Genome Project. Only when Jurassic Park comes out, then people start understanding the genome. So I joined the Human Genome Project as a, as a postdoc in 1990 uh, and uh, at MIT, which there had been two or three years of a lot of controversy in the scientific literature, whether it would be helpful to sequencing the, the genome. That's what I was known for, mapping the physical map of the human genome, gene, G-E-N, from gene, and ohm from chromosome. It's that information in our genes and chromosome that we inherit from our parents. Uh, that we give to our children that can be abnormal in some diseases. Most of the science is still right now being applied more to finding ways to treat cancer when you detect it. Then we start thinking how can we actually start using those drugs at an earlier setting. It's a concept that's been studied a lot in human genetics is when you can identify someone's at risk, when do you, when do you actually do the test? And, and we try to have some, a concept in medicine called uh, when, when you can actually do something about it. For example, uh, if I knew I had a gene for Alzheimer's disease, but there's nothing that I could do about it, most physicians and most medical ethicists would say, don't test because you don't know what to do with it. But if a drug comes out which can delay for, uh, the appearance of disease from age 55 to 65, I'd, I'd be the first one to be tested because then I could modify the appearance. So, so the concept is not just the knowledge of mutations, but the knowledge of a modifiable risk is quite important in medicine. Personalized medicine sometimes is best defined by thinking about one woman speaking to another and saying, you know, we both have breast cancer, but we don't have the same disease, and that's why we're not treated the same way. And when we start looking at the, what's causing the tumor uh, to grow quickly in, in this breast cancer versus another, we see it's driven by different genes, different proteins. And the more we understand that, the more we try to specifically turn off that gene that's specifically activating a, a patient's tumor. I was starting in my last job developing experimental diagnostics, experimental therapeutics, working more with industry in terms of clinical trials, in terms of moving some of our ideas, hypotheses into, towards drugs. But I wanted to go in a place which, which actually wanted to really t incorporate the new knowledge, the knowledge of genetics, the knowledge of immunology, and bring it to drive drug development. And I felt that Abby had that intention, had that motivation. And the company was poised to actually do that transition from a more traditional uh, pharmaceutical company to a, uh, a science-driven biopharma company.